this is our third installment of Legos and Bricks. And this installment, I really want us to just talk about everything that we're doing. Um, last week, we talked about influence. This week, we're going to talk about why I want to build this and really take an assessment of like where you currently are in your career goals and focus. And then we'll go from there. What are some of the things that you all remember based on the last conversation that stood out to you? Can I get like two people to share real quick? I think the this thing that we're talking about the the test we took, right? The the personality test. Yeah, we can touch on that. Yeah, that's what that's what I got from it. It was like the uh, introversion, extroversion, like just based off of answering questions, we get into like a specific model but i feel like this test we took it like took a like it surprised me a little because i didn't expect myself to be an extroverted person so it was really cool but also at the same time um i guess the there was like a category called agreeableness and i was like i really like that about myself because i try to strive to be more of a compassionate listener that's loving and caring and wants to hold space for people so like parts of it align, parts of it didn't. So it's kind of cool to see what's working and what's not. And then like, I think Maddie was doing her best to like bringing it back to like the business side of things or professional side of things and trying to apply that where you can put it into collaboration with other people. Yeah, definitely. And I think all of that stems into this idea, right? What we're talking about on these Fridays is like, self-discovery right finding new things about yourself that kind of can help you to navigate what direction you want to go into with your career with your life all of those things anyone else something else that they got so far from these last few weeks i would say like kind of like an overall right from like all like the meetings that we had all like the like from like all the talks that we had um i really like the emphasis on like the importance of like the journey from like point A to point B. Um, and mostly as well, like the whole like self-discovery that I think is like very important if you like, cause like you're really not like, I don't wanna say that you're not gonna get somewhere if you like don't discover yourself in a way, but like it's all about also like getting out of your comfort zone and making sure like you're learning new things, experience new things. So like you really know, kind of like discover new things, right? Like to get to the point um, and that's something like I always kind of like lately that's like what's in my head a lot so like everything about that keeps just like you know like helping on like the journey to get to like point B yeah definitely yeah I think the journey is one of the most important things we're going to talk a little bit about that journey it's a great segue into like the conversation for today I'm going to share a little bit about my journey, as I always do, just to give you all like a baseline on how to relate it. Um, and hopefully it helps. Um, that's the, the goal of these things is to help you all address where you're, what spectrum you are on in that journey. I and mean, I like to think about that from a, a standpoint of why, why do I want to build this idea or why do I want to go into this career or why do I want to be a part of uh, this idea of like an agency or we have my own business, whatever that might look like for all of you all, it's different, but why do I want to do that? And this week for me, I've been thinking about just taking a self-assessment on like where I am, which I feel like is so important in your self-discovery, right? Because the idea of why you wanted to build something versus where you are now are two separate things, right? Because the beginning of that dream might've started freshman year of high school, right? And now you're in your junior year of college and those, you are different from who you were back then to who you are now. So just thinking about this week, I've been, or it's really starting last Saturday or Friday, um, thinking about this idea of transitions, right? So currently assessing where I am thinking about like, we have new students and no more current students, right? That's a transition, right? changing my role in the day-to-day -day activities of the other businesses that I'm a part of, right? Those are transitions. Um, and then also, I think for all of us, I think we can all relate to this idea of, 
our dream not looking exactly how we thought it would at this current stage of our life, right? I think we can all have a clear understanding of what you're doing right now, maybe, right? Everyone's on a spectrum. So either you're completely in it or it looks a little bit different and you're trying to navigate why it looks different in that space. And when you kind of get stuck in a space of like, oh, I thought I was going to be here at this specific age, or I thought I'd be here in my journey at this specific time, it can sometimes put you into a depressive state, right? Like for me, that's realistic of where I've been, even though y'all probably don't see that, but this week has kind of been more of that for myself because I was like, oh, I thought I'd be doing these few things. I'm actually not doing it. So as y'all know, I'm big on my 4 a.m. Uh, wake ups. This week has been a struggle to do that um, just because there's not as much motivation. The ideas aren't really flowing. Asking myself, is this exactly what I'm supposed to be doing? And less about the student program, but more so about like the other business opportunities that I'm a part of and working on. And just thinking about this uncomfortable feeling that I had and navigating and trying to understand that uncomfortable space, right? I'm sure, you know, a lot of people can understand like going through that type of space. It doesn't feel great to be in like a weird state of like, I don't know if I wanna do this or I do wanna do this or I wanna be a part of this. And the more that you step into that, those feelings of like maybe disappointment or those feelings of unsurety or those feelings of feeling confused or lost, right? Like those are the times where you really discover who you are in that. And I think that's something that I learned this week, right? From Saturday all the way to yesterday when I was writing out this idea is how can I how can I discover this new sense of where I am currently? Um, and for me, like I said, I always pray and meditate. That's my thing. But for you, that might look a little different, right? So whatever you want to do in that time, kind of start to navigate that. Think about that a little bit. And when we talked about like that spectrum, right? We talked about some people, you're right at this space of where you exactly want to be. Others are in different spaces in between that. Or people are just trying to figure out, like, I don't even know what career I want to go into or what I want to do with my life. That's completely okay, right? And what I'm, why I shared this point or why I shared these ideas is to figure out it's okay to just like live in that moment. Don't feel like you have to rush out of that, right? What Conti was talking about earlier is like being in the journey of that. So really like diving into that space and saying like, cool. I'm not exactly where I thought I wanted to be, but where am I currently? And what are some of the things that I'm learning, right? So starting to reflect on that path. And I have a few things that I feel like are really important to do as you go through that journey. And for me, it really helped to get out of that depressive, confused space, um, really walking through some of these steps, right? So the first thing I always talk about, and we talked about this, is sit in multiple quiet moments with yourself to hear and reflect on why you feel this specific way, right? I think that is something that is so, so important. I'm always going to stress sitting in silence. I've been lucky, but not lucky enough where my girlfriend's not here this week. So it's been very quiet in our house and I haven't had to be out at meetings for the last few days. So I've just been able to really sit in that space and understand and reflect on like, these are the things that are good that happen. These are the reasons why I'm actually disappointed. And in that disappointment, what does that mean, right? So if I thought like, oh, I was going to be a part of a business in a different sense. And now my role in that is a lot different. And maybe there's lesser responsibilities, but I feel like I can help out in a, in a specific area because I have strengths in that space. It's all part of that journey, right? And sometimes those things will unfold to where you're actually able to work in those areas of your strengths or on the opposite end, you might not be able to do that. And that might be the whole journey for you is to work in a space where you're more uncomfortable and develop new skills in that, right? So fully moving into that space. Um, the other part is feeling your emotions. How many of you are very emotional people? Yes, no, okay, okay. I'm like in the middle, I don't like to cry, but this week I had a nice little cry. It was all good, it felt good. You know, sometimes a cry is what you need, that's fine. Um, 
So really feeling it out. It's okay to let that thing out. Um, if you need to take time for yourself or if you like feel comfortable doing it in front of a friend or with a friend and talking about it and sharing in that space, navigate what that looks like for you. Um, discover your why. How many of you know your why or have heard that term? Show of hands, yes, no. Okay, so really discovering your why is like, think about what makes you happy when pursuing this, right? This is the idea of what you want to do, what you want to become, what you want to develop into. Um, for me, I think it's the smile and joy and like the enthusiasm that someone has when they're talking about a career or an idea that they really want to navigate, right? I'm sure you all have something that lights you up and you just ramble on about it. You could talk to someone about it for hours, right? So what is that? Why is that a thing for you? So really start to meditate and think about what is that thing that is um, makes me excited, brings joy to my life. The big one is seeing how you're affecting others in a good, bad, or in a way of improvement. So what does that really mean? For me, I had to think about, all right, I might not be where I wanna be exactly, but what have I been able to accomplish during this time, right? What am I doing that seems to be good? What are some things that I'm doing that might not be as good and how can I improve on that? And then really just doing a self-assessment because I think we can be our harshest critics but it's also good to balance out the good and the harshness of all of those two worlds. And then really, I think it helps because do any of you know who Brene Brown is? Brene Brown? Oh, okay, I see a name. Check out Brene Brown, right? She's really great. Um, she talks about this thing of like, a lot of the times we can create these false narratives and stories in our head. So when you reflect on like the good things that you're doing, you kind of can kill those false narratives and help for you to tell a different story in your head that helps you to get motivated or find passion or find awareness. And then the last part of that is love you for where you are at currently because disappointment comes from within and if you change your perspective to discover the why behind the disappointment you can free yourself from it right that is a huge thing that i dealt with on thursday right i think it's important to know and we talked about this right who you wanted to be freshman year of high school versus who you want to be in elementary school versus who you want to be now versus who you want to be when you're 40 is all going to look completely different based on the life that you end up going through. So don't feel disappointed in this space, because ultimately, I'm a firm believer that we don't even really know what we want, right, until life shows it to us. And one of the things I always say is let the earth speak back to you, right? So if the earth is speaking back to you and telling you, hey, this is not your route right now, Take the route that the earth is speaking to you and move in that space because that can be very, very helpful. One of the things that I thought of is I was watching this interview on Leslie Odom um, and this uh, pastor that I follow. He's like an influential speaker, just wrote a book called Balance. It's a great book. If you want to look at it, take a look. But Leslie Odom, who was in, what's the play called? You know the play? What, uh, what's his name? Oh, man. Milton? Hamilton, there we go. Sorry, I don't know why I couldn't figure that. But Hamilton, right? Leslie Odom was in his career. Um, he's a star in Hamilton, and he's had so many ups and downs in his career. And he was thinking to himself, like, man, I should just quit because, and this is pre Hamilton. Um, he's like, I should just quit. And I think I just want to own a hotel, right? And to any of us, right, that might be a reality where we say, you know what, I just own a hotel. I love customer service. That's what he was talking about. And in that, he really talked to a mentor, right? So sometimes talking it out is really good because sometimes we can be in a monologue with ourselves and that ties back to the Brene Brown stuff of telling stories in your head where you think that's true. But when you reflect on that time and say, hey, I'm way further than I was when I first started and I'm moving throughout this journey and I'm learning about myself and I'm almost there, those are the things that can be important. So. Thinking of Leslie Odom, right? He almost went in this completely different career path of being a hotel owner. And he was like, I'm gonna start my way at the bottom and work my way to the top. And that was not what he was really supposed to be doing, right? He wasn't paying attention to what the earth was speaking back to him at the time. And he 
quickly shook himself out of that, ended up getting on Hamilton and grew his career to be an amazing actor, musician. So those are the things to think about, right? When you get into that space of, I'm not sure if I want to do this and you want to give up and quit, it's okay to have those feelings. It's okay to have those emotions, but address those feelings and those emotions and understand the why behind that so you can navigate yourself to the space that you really want to be in. What's your question? Go ahead, Nita. My question was like, when you say the earth talking back to you, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, for sure. So when I think about the earth talking back to you, I think of this, there's this like sermon that I was listening to, and it speaks about like being in a monologue with yourself. Um, when we think about like the earth speaking back to you, it's really circumstances, right? A lot of the times, and this ties back to what Conti was saying, which is really right on time, but really going on this journey, right? A lot of the times when we're going in the day-to-day of life, because there's so much noise around us, whether we're scrolling on social media or we're doing all these other things, you don't allow for like situations to, you don't allow yourself to really reflect on situations that you're going through, right? So an example of that might be, hey, I really want to, like for me right now, right? I would love to transition my business of management to working in the sports industry, right? But when the earth speaks back to me, I have a cousin who I'm working with and he's a track like Olympian, right? But me working with him is not in the way that I think it's going to be, right? In my head, it was going to be management, like day to day and to not labor on the point, management is more so like going to the track events with him, being in that space, right? But when I let the earth speak back to me, the current situations of where I'm really in right now seeing that, oh, my role of working with people has always been about getting them to their dream career and then creating businesses from with them from their interests, right? Not more so in a management role, but creating those business ideas and then facilitating a team, right? That is important for them to sustain their dream idea, right? So the point of that is saying, I thought my idea was this, right? In my head, that's the story or that's the narrative I came up with that this is how I was going to work with that person. And I'm sure all of us can relate to a time where we came up with an idea in our head and we're like, this is how it's going to work. And then when it doesn't work like that, then you get disappointed. Then from disappointment, that leads to depression, right? And all those things happen. So if you don't let the earth speak back to you of the current situation of what's going on, then you can't have a dialogue with the earth to say, cool, I see that I'm supposed to be doing this. Let me try this thing that makes me feel uncomfortable. And it's not the direction or the narrative that I told myself, but I'm going to try it. And then by trying it, the earth will speak back to you and you get, you might flourish in that space, or it might take you, tell you to take a right turn and go do this other thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's really the idea of letting the earth speak back to you. It's like, what are your current situations telling you, right? We had a student before this who was focused on brand management Actually, a really great story of this is, and then I'll end and then we'll move into, we're not going to do questions. I'm going to just give you time. But a really great story is this, is we had this student, uh, Anna Roberts. She was uh, an actress from NYU, right? She went to NYU acting school, one of the top acting schools, and that was her space, right? She went through a life-changing um, mental health situation, Um, Not to tell too much of her business, but she went through that and she realized, I don't want to be an actor. Came to Dim University and uh, said she wanted to discover PR, right? She really dove into the space of discovering PR, understanding how it fit with her beliefs and what she wanted to do within PR. And then from that, she ended up going through the program and putting her full energy into this program. And once she was able to do that, she said, you know what, I want to stay on, become an intern manager, help someone else who was in my situation transition into the career field that they wanted to do. She came up with this uh, concept, uh, Have a Map, which is our podcast. If you've seen it, check it out on YouTube or on all podcast streaming services. But she came up with that concept. And because she came up with that concept, she actually got to interview her now boss, who she works with and ended up getting a full-time job in PR, grew 
in that space and was able to create a successful career here in Chicago. She moved from Indiana during the pre during the pandemic to Chicago and got that career with that person, right? So that's all from her listening to the earth, right? Saying, hey, this situation happened. I don't wanna be an actress and I'm just gonna move into PR, right? This is something that I'm actually more passionate about um, and discovered who she wanted to be in that space, found the right person who had a small PR business, grew with that person and now is running um, her PR business um, and is traveling all across the country, working with different people, giving back in that space. So it's all about figuring it out, right? And, uh, and one of the things that is always happening is that we let these like cultural pressures, what we talked about cultural influences, um, tell us just because we went to school for this specific thing doesn't mean we can't transition right after it. And that's not the truth, right? Anna is a great, a great example of that. Um, someone who is now flourishing in her career. And, and she went through this program as a college graduate, right? So she was not in college. Um, this was after college and she was able to grow and find herself in that space. But yeah, that's all I have to share. We're not gonna do like a conversation exercise, but if you wanna share anything, I saw some people commenting in the chat. Any questions, thoughts anyone wants to share before we wrap up and then we're gonna go into our transition. Can I say something? Yeah, go for it. Oh, I think it was interesting. The, I'm still stuck on that question of like, I, I appreciated the, what is the earth saying to me in this moment or just speaking back to me? I think I love the earth and I never thought about it in that sense. Cause I think I tend to get caught up in expectations like you were saying, get, caught up in the story and then when stuff doesn't happen it just doesn't we just get in a spiral but I think when you pose the question like do I know the why and like starting to question like why I like graphic design and it's just like I don't know I think I'm maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit but I still don't not fully sure like why I want to do graphic design and not in love with graphic design but right now I'm just like I don't know where I'm going at all but I think I'm just so open to whatever just because I find joy in other parts of my life and I think I still need to make ends meet by having a job like graphic design wise and I think I'm so young so I have to like figure out what I want to how to apply joy into my life and I don't know how to so I was trying to figure that out that part out of like where in my life is there more joy yeah yeah. And that's part of the journey, right? It's like, thank you for sharing too, but that's part of the journey is figuring that part out is why, why do I even like this, right? It's a lot of, it's hard and you're not gonna, that's not like something that I want you all to figure out right now. I just want you all to be mindful of that so we can go on this journey together through this program to really understand the reason why you do like it and find the joy of it and bring it in with like your career because I think too many times we think of careers and we don't think that we can have joy in our career and we have to find joy outside of our career right and I think there's an equal balance where you can like have a career love it but then also find joy in other things that's not what I'm talking about but you can live in both of those worlds where you have joy in your career and that's why right now I feel like all of you are at the perfect space to start to discover and that's why I want to ask these tough questions because it's not a this is not like a oh we talked about it and I'm good I know exactly right this is where like the self-work has to happen um, as you move forward into this time is really reflecting on why do I want to do this, right? If it's for the paycheck, right, then you have an understanding of that's what it's for. But you also want to understand of like, how can I mesh the love of the things that I do, or the things that I like to do into like my current passion and skill set and move that forward to create uh, some momentum in my career. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so in this discovery process, do you have any like journal prompts that could help with like uncovering these types of questions or questions and stuff like that, or just discovering a little bit more? Yeah, I think I think one of the things is I think sitting in quietness is the best start to that, right? Rather than like 
doing something is like finding multiple moments of quiet time and listening in that space, right? Because I think that's where like vision and purpose really come from is in that time, you'll hear things and they might seem like intimidating, right? They might seem like, oh, I never thought about that, right? But like, those are the things that you journal and you write out, right? So one thing that I do on a week to week basis, like right before this, like in my prayer meditation time, I hear things. And during that time, when I hear things, I write it out. And then every Saturday, I sit down and I map out those things that I've heard. Because a lot of the times as adults, we'll hear things or we'll hear thoughts or thoughts will come to us and we'll be like, man, you know, I really, and that's where the why stems in. Like, oh, this one time I heard like, oh, I should own my own, um, you know, videography company. And I write that idea down, but I never check in with that idea. So if I hear that big idea and it seems intimidating to me, but then as I go through this journey, and I'm not listening to the things that are happening around me, then I miss out on those experiences to say, oh, this actually connects to this, right? Like for me, I'll share this real quick, but for me, like one time during my prayer meditation time, I was here like, oh, you're gonna own like a, a fast food business or like a restaurant, something of that nature. Nothing that I really wanted to do, right? But I was like, oh, that's a cool idea. And I had a bunch of ideas where I was like, you could do merch with it and you could like create these different cultural moments and like bring in celebrities to do these like unique food ideas and happenings. And then I started to, and if I'm not listening to the earth, right? Derek and I just worked on opening this spot called Bronzeville Winery, right? So I got to see the whole the whole process of opening a restaurant right in front of me, right? And now I'm working with Derek on the wine shop. So instead of me telling, going off of this narrative of like, oh, I thought I was going to be in sports management and I'm not listening and stewarding over what I'm doing now, then I miss that whole concept and idea. Does that make sense, right? So like, you hear these big ideas and you don't like connect the dots on the things that are happening. Now you've missed out on like the things that you're supposed to be learning during those moments. So those are just natural prompts that you can kind of go off of. Kante, I know you had something to say, sorry. Um, yeah, I was gonna say like this year, more than like the previous years, like every time we kind of talk about like that, like um, growing kind of thing, like having like your journey, I feel like this year, like, kind of, like, hits harder every talk because, like, the, my start of the year was, like, probably, like, the most, like, rough I ever had, um, kind of, like, personal side, right, um, family and, like, friends kind of thing, so I feel like every time I kind of, like, talk about it and I, like, kind of, like, as you we were talking, like, down to earth, as, like, as I kind of go and I discover like a few things and I kind of see things that relate like what I said on the chat that like I was working yesterday and one of my coworkers, she's like a writer director and actor right and I'm like like that's not working right there and like just like a temporary job that I'm doing to have money right and just like as I go kind of like always like learning new things and like meeting new people in like the most like random ways I'm just like okay it's kind of like a sign in a way like I should like really just like go for it right like just want to say that yeah yeah and that's why that's like Nita what you're asking right letting the earth speak back to you if you don't have that perspective then you don't see those as like markers that you're moving in the right direction you know what I mean all right let's give everyone a round of applause for sharing thank you beautiful beautiful 